Michael Jordan, Anderson Silva, you know, even the ultimate warrior. They all have one thing in common. They are all legends of the game. I don't even watch basketball, but you know, at least I can see a legend when I see one. And you know, I'm trying to become the legend of the deep web. So without any further ado, you know, uh, here's episode two of Deep Web Exploring. All right, so a lot of you guys have been asking for me to chat with some random people online. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm on this website called Chat with Strangers. So talk to John Doe. So let's do random chat. And I have been on here before, I think. You have to keep refreshing it once you talk to somebody. So let's, let's say howdy there. Partner. Oh, what happened? I think I might. Oops. I think I fucked up. I had to send. Say send. Howdy there, partner. Send. You can't press enter. Okay, so we just wait. I think. Let's refresh. Nope. He's typing. Hola. Well. What do we say? Let's say, uh, did you know that objectively Eddie Murphy is the funniest man of all time? I think, uh, you know, there are two ways this conversation can go. He's either going to agree with me or he's gonna um, try to kill me so um, let's see I'm just pressing refresh over and over again he's probably he's not typing yet so I assume he, he has to think you know I'm not even sure if I spelled Murphy right or objectively right but you know um, it is what it is maybe that stumped him I think he I think he's stuck. We'll give him a, a couple more moments. Oh. He just said, "Hmm." Okay. Well. Um that's one thing I noticed is that this site can be a little buggy. So, let's try talking again. Let's say um Star Trek is not nearly as good as Star Wars. Let's see what this person has to say regarding my my really, you know, I'm I'm throwing out some difficult things. I I really am you know, hitting them with the the kitchen sink, you know. Well, they're typing. Okay. I also think that Ants is a better movie than Bugs Life. I'm gonna say, do you agree? <laughs> yes. So as you can see, a lot of these people, it's just one word answers out of them. There's not much, there's not very many interesting folk in here. Although, you know, they're typing again. I agree with Star War. Well, you, sir, need to dig around the old VHS collection 
and rewatch ants. Spell it the correct way. It's a timeless classic. How old are you? And see, this is right when we get into like this territory. And I don't know what what should we say. I'm should I say thirteen? I'm thirteen. <laughs> but some say that I act like I'm two hundred years old. I'm basically a dinosaur. They're typing. They didn't have time to <laughs> respond. <laughs> Let's see how creepy it gets. I'm really waiting for it to degenerate. I think any moment now it will degenerate. But I don't agree with you. I think you're old is 10. I am sorry. No. I am sorry. Listen, buddy. I have to go. But please. Have fun. And be safe. See, it's good to end on a good note. And, you know, he's wrong about the ants thing. But at least we're on the same page when it comes to Star Wars. So let's go to the next site. Alright, so here I've come across a collection of three pretty cryptic videos. So I'm going to go ahead and play them. And we'll try to figure them out together. Hopefully. So to me, that seemed like somebody was just running through a park. You know, pretty weird. The VHS effect makes me believe that it's, it was definitely thrown in a, like a video editor. And the shakiness, it just seems too, you know, too, too typical for it to be like genuine. But let's check out the other two videos and then we'll make up our minds. All right, here's the next video. So, so far, this is what I assume most people wake up to is this maybe their fan. Maybe this guy's sleeping. Maybe he's testing out some new features on his camera. I don't know. Uh, but that, that was okay. You know, I'm sure that was fine. That was good. That was a good video. You know, good. Yeah, I, I loved it. Let's see what the third and final video is all about. Maybe those two were leading up to some big shebang. So it all led up to this. Let's see what, what this guy's all about. So I can hear some talking, some murmuring. It seems like some pretty... Uh, it's trying, yeah. It's like scary, scary sounding stuff. It's definitely... I'm definitely shook, as the kids say. That was it. Well, that was interesting. That was pretty interesting. I'd say that... All these videos were pretty, pretty crazy. It says, fear not, you've made it to the dark side of the internet. And then you can donate to him. Listen, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your money. But The Shining, great movie. Um, I don't know. 
know, Signs. That was, that was a good. You guys remember Signs? It was a good movie. I don't know if I'd pay for this. Uh, but you guys do what you'd like. With that being said, let's go on to the next website. So I have come across Lord Crumb's Crunchy Delights. The secrets in Reg's 11 herbs and spices made with imported 100% Homo sapien. Welcome to Lord Crumb's Crunchy Delights, the number one intergalactic food chain in the known galaxy. We are a five, si five star team of employees dedicated to bringing you the best possible dining experience. We are known for our fresh meats, unrivaled food preparation, and friendly service that you will not find anywhere else. Check out our signature specials available all day, every day. And there's a burger. So we provide the finest foods in the universe. If you are not fully satisfied for any reason, you will receive a full refund for your purchase price. And here's a message from the president. Welcome, my friends. The job is almost done. We take off for home tomorrow. I'm sure you'll be pleased to be leaving this shitty planet. In the meantime, I must impress upon you the importance of remaining in the human form. No matter how awkward, uncomfortable, and ugly, ugly it makes you feel. We are so close to success that we must take no chances. We'd be wasting our time if we can prevent samples in the if we can present samples to the Nalik Nod Fast Food Authority. Isn't it amazing how you can fit a whole town of humans into a few cardboard boxes if you slice off the fat? It's a value of keeping your knife sharp and your mind clean. The past week has been difficult, but I would like to say how proud I am of you all. The manner in which you are in which you conducted a very tricky slaughter operation has been a real credit to you and indeed the whole Crumb Galaxy's Delight organization. I am certain that when the Homo sapien taste takes the galaxy by storm as it will, Crumb's Crunchy Delights will be back at the top. So these are the different locations and you can contact them here. Or you can order online here. Huh. Well, I like the website design. I think they get an A plus for the organization. I like the way it scrolls. Feels good. This definitely reminds me of like the 1990s. Just like fast food in the 1990s the way they used to market their food with like space like when Toy Story 1 came out it kind of reminds me of that when they go into that this the, what is that that little play place they get trapped in the claw the claw machine it, it reminds me of that well Lord Crumb's Crunchy Delights it was quite the delight I know you know maybe one day I'll try your homo sapien burger uh, but not today. So let's go on to the next website. I came across Alter, Pink Alpha. So for contact, you can contact her. I believe it's a her here. These are all coming soon and ask for her PGP. I don't know what either of these mean, but I don't know if I'm losing out on much. So I am a geek woman. I'm a geek first, a woman second. Let's change the world. All right, let's read her about. I am here to fight for yours and my own freedoms in the digital age. So she's a hacker. Few things happened in my life and now I wear diapers 24 seven, but I wear them because I want to and I use them for the bathroom but I also use them to relax but other reasons too. get to know me and respect people and you might learn the full story well that's some that's some good advice you, sh you definitely should respect people I I agree with that um, let's see can we chat with her all right pink alpha please follow all the rules below no links to child porn, gore, including corpses, violence, or zoophilia. Please be respectful towards other chatters. No flaming, bigotry, or harassment. Don't scam, spam, or post info that endangers anyone's anonymity or safety. 
Don't plan attacking other sites, services, members, or guests. Disclaimer. By entering this chat room, you agree to these rules. If you misbehave, you will be warned and or kicked out. All right, well, let's see. Currently zero chatters in the room. So maybe if I pop in, let me name myself uh, Big Bear 24 My password is going to be Big Bear. Big Bear. Okay, choose a, oh wait, no, this is the Kapchka, A-S-B-F-7. My random color is going to be gold. Let's enter the chat. Let's see what this is all about. Take me to the chat. All right, welcome Big Bear 24. If this frame does not reload in 10 seconds, You'll, be, you'll have to enable automatic redirection in your browser. Make sure there's no web, web filter. Oh! Well, isn't this neat? These are all public. These are all different people just saying hello. Hello, what up, goodbye, hi, hey. I'm going to send a message. I'm going to say, hello. I am a nice bear. Just looking around the forest. Nice to meet you all. All right, send. Let's send that to all chatters. Let's get up on here. Are we up? There we go. Hello, I am a nice bear just looking around the forest. Nice to meet you all. Uh, would you look at that? So now. I so this is really interesting I, I guess all these people got here before I did that's a pretty good amount of people that have found this website it's a pretty obscure one so props to you and yeah maybe next time I'll I'll, I'll come see if anybody replied to me a lot of people have been asking me where I get my links where I look for what I look for and the answer is that I use a couple of things so I do use under DIR and I do use fresh onions those two primarily fresh onions is probably the most helpful site that I've used it has a search bar where you can search keywords it has lots and lots of pages just full of fresh onion links um, under DIR is less updated although it does have feedback sections so you can say if something's a scam you can like look at the percentage of how many people said this was a good site or not and you can read a small description of each site you can still do that on fresh onions as well um, so those are the two I, I primarily use. And otherwise, you just look around from digging and, and under DIR you'll find different subsections where you can actually find more places to look. So if you just look around, just be careful again and you're bound to find what you need to find. Except, you know, any of that weird shit. Don't be looking up weird shit. Just look up the cool shit. Well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And leave some suggestions on what you want to see, if you want me to revisit some things. And I'll see you next time. Bye.